last week on Grown Ups. You know, this is the first time my brother Neil has ever come to stay with me. I got you. You need some place to hide. <laughs> right, down in Paris, this is Gordon Hamill. How do you wow? <laughs> and this is my baby brother Jay. Nice to meet you. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. What is wrong with you? Do you not like your brother's girlfriend? No. I like her. I had sex with her. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys, Dan and I set a date. This weekend in Las Vegas, and we want you all to come. But why, why are you gonna just throw away us being brothers over one week I spent with Don? A week! <laughs> Say something. We were on the plane for four hours. She didn't say a word to me. Too bad. Are there two words? Come on, come on. Go with that. Go with that. <laughs> what do you want, Jay? Neil, you're angry, and that is understandable. Whatever gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. Could it be the no talking thing? Or could it be the pulsating vein in your head? Ah, you know what? Here's the clincher. When you wrote, die, Jay, die, on the back of your air sick bag. <laughs> that was it. Well, first of all, you had no right reading my air sick bag. You also had the flight attendant announce it during her safety demonstration. Neil, get over it. I'm not gonna go through another family feud on my wedding weekend. Welcome to the Meridia Hotel and Casino. How can I help you? Yeah, a Fraser party checking in. We're a wedding. And might I say you two make a lovely couple? No. Hey, 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 bud. I'm the couple here. Well, the two of us. This is my brother. He just slept with her once. For a week. <laughs> It must be nice to have such a close family. Uh, yeah. What is wrong with you, man? Now, this just can't be about me sleeping with your fiance. How much more do you need? It was before they met, Green Jeans. No, it's about you not copping up to it, Jay. Why didn't you just tell me right off the bat? How am I supposed to tell my brother that I spent six wonderful nights with his fiance? Oh, you just had to say that, didn't you? Come on, you know. Yeah, but I didn't know how much you enjoyed it. Come on, baby, let's go. three bucks in my pocket, and you let my wife carry her own bags. Your man treats me like a queen. What do you mean you lost my room? How do you lose a room? The room's in the building, we in the building, you got the building, you got the room. <laughs> but do I sense a problem here, huh? Of course, when it comes to playing the game in this town, I am the king. Here we go, the Vegas rap. Look, my father, Morty Hamill, was a legendary gambler. He played nickel slots. Look, he'd come to town six, seven times a year. When you're unemployed, you have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> Look, when he'd return home, he'd share fabulous tales of comps and passes and free shrimps, as far as the eye could see. Yeah, well, you go looking for your shrimps. But I have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, well, why don't you stand back and watch the Hamel magic? Oh, Sorry. Sorry. Hey, pal. Reservation. Name's Hamill. Yes, sir. I have your reservation right here. You'll be staying in our junior economy suitelet. <laughs> oh, my God. Honey! Chris Brock's here tonight. Let's get tickets before they sell out. It, the Hamels don't pay for tickets for anything in Vegas. I mean, as soon as the casino gets wind that I'm in town, they'll be throwing tickets at us. Morty, why can't you just buy the darn tickets like a normal human being? Hey. Morty Hamill's son doesn't do anything like a normal human being. <laughs> okay, look, man. Let me lay this out for you, okay? My brother hates me. I want to talk to him. But I can't do that until I find a place where I can plan my next move. Sorry, the computer is down. <coughs> Big tip. <coughs> okay, I see how you do it. Okay, right. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> how about that? computer is back on. 
Now, are you looking for something functional or something a little more impressive? I don't care. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you the suite. You know, in case you want to take another run at your brother's fiance. <laughs> this is all right. It's a lot. It's a lot like my room. Really? You got a suite too? Sweet-ish. <laughs> but I got one of these. It's just that when I open mine, the bed folds out. <laughs> right, this is totally unfair. You know? I mean, this. This is the kind of room I deserve. I mean, no Hamels ever left Vegas without collecting some perks. It's my destiny, Jay. Hey, Gordon. Many are called, few are chosen. Ooh. Hey, Donna. Your room better not be this nice. It's not. Good. Jay, I don't know what to do. Regarding what? Neil and I just had a huge fight. All the chapels are booked, and the only place he could find a reservation was a drive through church. You know what? There is something to be said about Val's fries and a coat. Jay, I'm not marrying Neil if I can't do it properly. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. I'll come up with something. Um... Wait a minute. Why can't we just do it in my room? Is this deja vu, or did you say that to me in Cancun? I'm talking about your wedding. Really? This would be great. Yeah, it's perfect. You know what? I'll suggest it to Neil. Let me go find him. Oh, wait, but he's pretty stuck on this drive through thing. He says it's quick, easy, and gets the job done. You know, if that's his attitude about the wedding, I wouldn't be too optimistic about the honeymoon. I don't think you understand. My father, Morty Hamill, is a very high roller in this casino. And as a legacy, I do believe I'm entitled to an upgrade from my sweet lick. I'll check the computer. Gordon, Gordon. I just hit a jackpot on the nickel slot. Yeah? How much? About eight pounds. <laughs> now, can we please buy those Chris Rock tickets? Don't be crazy. Now you go cash in and be a winner. You got to get comped. Morton Hamill? Oh, my. Yeah, oh, my. Big roller. Now give me my upgrade. Actually, sir, it seems your father took quite a liking to our bathrobes, our linens, and an alarming amount of body shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> He's a very hairy man. Perhaps you'd like to, uh, settle his bill. Oh, no, did, did I say Morty Hamill? I meant Marty Hamill. Marty. My dad, Marty. <laughs> yes, but, you know, as I recall, he always stayed at Caesars. Love Caesars. You know, I'll be my sweet lip. Neil, I got an idea for your wedding. Save it, Jay. I already found a chapel for tomorrow. It's a drive through but it's tasteful. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it is, but I'm thinking you might prefer something a little less mobile. Like what? Okay, hear me out. I'm thinking we have the ceremony in my suite. It's huge. I'll take care of all the preparations. So you're going to take care of all the preparations, huh? Hey, just think of it as a wedding gift. <laughs> Look, Jay, this day is for Donna and me. Let me plan it the way I want. And you want a drive through wedding? More than anything in the world. <laughs> you can't even say that with a straight face. It's a damn machine. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me... Stay, stay. Oh, 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 oh! 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 Good news. Did you talk to Neil? Yep, he's downstairs cashing in. And get this, not only are we brothers, but I get to host the Frasier Affair right here in my suite. Really? Yep. How about that? Well, rein in that enthusiasm. I don't want you doing cartwheels when you're walking down the aisle. <laughs> down the aisle, huh? That's what, in about 12 hours? OK. What did I miss? Not too long ago, you sent me downstairs to arrange a wedding. Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Okay, then. Good. Jay, do you ever think about Cancun? I'm sensing a serious lack of focus here, Donna. Well, that's because I'm thinking about this. Now, do you remember Cancun? It's starting to come back to me. <laughs> Oh, 
Donna, this is crazy. Come on, Jay, you gotta think about Cancun sometimes. Yeah, I just stay on the rug, stay on the rug, okay? Yes, yes, I do think about Cancun. I mean, it was a great vacation package. Seven nights, all-inclusive, no tipping. And that's like dying and going to heaven to me. No, it was passionate. But yes, it's spontaneous. That's who I am. It's a part of me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and passion and spontaneity are good things within the boundaries of a loving marriage. Loving marriage? Jay, I'm not in love with Neil. Of course you are. You're getting married to him, and you have a very expensive cake. I didn't say I'm not marrying him. I mean, I enjoy his company. Donna, you don't marry someone whose company you enjoy. You share a cob salad with that person. What is the big deal? I'm willing to give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I can't believe... Yo, Jay, open up. It's Neil. Oh, well, um, darn, it's Neil. He's gonna catch us in here together. Oh, so, Jay, we haven't done anything yet. Oh, you are the worst. Oh, <laughs> yeah, give me, Neil. Look, man, I, I, can, I can explain. Just give me... What the hell is this? I know what you're thinking. Damn, this room is amazing. Honey, isn't it perfect? Oh, yeah, it is perfect. And you are perfect, and we're perfect together. The wedding is perfect. And, Jay, now that we got over this Cancun issue, the worst stuff is behind us, baby. Am I the luckiest man in the world or what? Not even in this room. <laughs> well, hey, uh, just for the record, there's a very low cashew to peanut ratio. <laughs> Gordon, you will never believe what just happened to me. What, they upgraded you to a penthouse now? No, I... I... Nuts? No, but Donna is. She just kissed me. Really? It was horrible. Oh, well, was it? Or is it just possible that you invited it? Gordon, are you not hearing me? My brother's fiance has just kissed me. Look, I hear you, but the real question is, did you do that thing you do? What thing? You know, where you look away and glance back. It's very provocative. What do you mean, like this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I most certainly did not. I only use the look when I'm trying to close the deal. And I certainly made no closing effort here. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm gonna tell Neil. Good luck. I'll be in the casino if you need me. <laughs> oh, and uh, one suggestion. When you break the news, give him the look. <laughs> What are you doing? Standing in line for tickets. You've seen me do this before. Well, I will get us tickets. You don't need to stand here in line with these yahoos. Save my spot. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Pit boss. Hey, hey. Changing 100. And that would be the dealer's job, sir. Yeah, I just didn't want it to escape your notice that I'm throwing around some serious Franklins. <laughs> It's one of the new ones with the really big heads. Remind me again, why are we having this conversation? Well, it's very simple. Comps. Honey, look, if I get back in line now, I can still get us tickets into the kitchen. Look, the Hamels do not pay for show tickets. Ooh, look here. Changing another hundred. And my lovely wife, say hello, Shari. Hi. Is a huge fan of Chris Rock. Yeah, we're looking for tickets near the stage. So are his parents. <laughs> Would you like a card? Oh, boy. I just bet $200? Yes, and you have 16. <laughs> I've hit. No, no, stay. Wait, I didn't go yet. <laughs> no, look, why don't you ask everyone else out here and come back to me? <laughs> Sir, you're not choosing a dessert. <laughs> Card. Rock tickets. Card. Tickets. Hey, Neil. What are you doing lying on my couch, man? Oh, uh, uh Donna said it was bad luck for the uh, groom to sleep with the bride the night before the wedding. Hey, uh, you know, since we're on that topic, I feel as your best man, it's my responsibility to ask you some hard questions. Now, uh, are you sure you're ready for marriage? I've never been more certain of anything in my life, Jay. See, you sound like you're on the fence, Neil. <laughs> Donna's the best thing that ever happened to me. No, no, Neil, Neil, you're waffling. 
<laughs> hey, what's wrong with you? I love her more than anything in the world. Listen to yourself. You're all over the place. I can't let you get married. That'd be irresponsible of me. <laughs> Jay, uh, is there something you want to tell me? Now, if anyone knows any reason why these two should not be joined in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Say something. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Don't do it, Neil. Donna is not the marrying type. You want someone that's gonna look in your eyes and say I love you every day and really, really mean it. Donna, she's the kind of woman you lease, but you don't buy. <laughs> You're my brother, Neil. I love you. That's why I'm telling you this. And do me a favor, please. Don't kiss me. <laughs> Neil, there's something I gotta tell you, man. Donna says she doesn't love you. What the hell are you talking about? No, Neil, she came to my room and she said some things. Man, you know how women talk. No, Neil, she kissed me. I mean, y'all practically family now. It's like one of those kisses, no, right? No, Neil, no. This was the kind of kiss you start a family with. Here's the best we can do. Free pancake breakfast and two standing room tickets to see Siegfried and Ray. You mean Siegfried and Roy with the white tigers? No, Siegfried and Ray with their flaming unicycle. <laughs> it's a hit. Hit? Card. No, no! Very good, if you're playing 26. <laughs> Enjoy the pancakes. It's a lot better than the show. So, I think I'm just gonna get back in line for those tickets. Now, why would you buy Chris Rock tickets? Yeah, I've just been comp to see Siegfried and Ray. Oh, the guys with the white tigers? Um, exactly. I love them. <laughs> they uh, changed their act a little. <laughs> Neil, I don't know what to say. Uh, goodbye, so long, ta-ta. Any of those work? Uh, basically, Donna, I'm too good for you. So why don't you walk out that door and just never, ever call me again? Well, Mr. J? <laughs> uh, oh, man. Look on the bright side, Neil. It's better you find out now and two kids and four years later that her heart was never in the marriage to begin with. Uh, you're right. You're right. right. All right. You're right, bro. All right. Uh, what kind of loser comes to Vegas and loses his money and his woman? You gonna be okay, bro? Yeah, I guess I'll live. Will I? I can't even blame you. Carrying the curse of the Fraser men. Yeah. We just too damn sexy. <laughs> what are the odds of it being the same woman? I mean, what's the odds of two brothers sharing two different women? Two different women? Yeah, Donna and uh, little Lila Floor. Lie on the floor? Lie on the floor? Lie on the floor? My prom date? That's the one. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were going to say Donna and Margot Allen. Margot Allen, my ski partner? <laughs> okay. Why don't we just go down to the casino and talk about something else? <laughs> yeah, football. There you go. Go Bears. Go Packers. <laughs> you don't even like the Packers. Why do you always have to argue with me? Go Bears. Go Packers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Glad we got to spend some extra time together, bro. Hey. Hey, uh, before you go, even though I was the only big winner in Vegas, there's no reason I can't share the wealth with my friends. The Hamill legend lives on. <laughs> okay, Neil, because I like you. Thanks. Here's your cab, Neil. Yeah. Yo, Jay, ain't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Nah, bro, the ring. Oh. There you go. So what are you gonna do with it? 
Maybe I'll hold on to it. I was getting kind of close to this other girl before Donna. Sandy Brown? Oh, don't know her. <laughs> One date. 